This is a short tutorial in order to explain uh, how you can insert data in the Wallis database. So this is the home page of um, the, um, the database once you are logged in and you can see all the data that uh, were already inserted. And uh, now I'm going to show you how you can uh, insert uh, one dating data. So here you can see uh, that is very important because uh, uh, in the next step, uh, it will be connected to a relative sea level uh, data. So now we are going to insert uh, uh, one uh, coral uh, U-series data. So we just type here. And this is the first uh, tab we have. First thing to do, add new. Okay. So uh, we are going to insert data about uh, a coral that is a cladocora cespitosa okay uh, the u series i'm going to uh, insert data about a paper of uh, carboni et al 2014 on quaternary international from sardinia and uh, i read the paper and uh, uh, the u series were uh, not recalculated so say no the type of spectrometry in this case is the alpha spectrometry. Uh, there are some relative sea level estimates for this coral, so we can place yes. This is a very good point because actually we need to uh, later connect this with a relative sea level data. And I don't want to insert data related to the tectonics. So the second tab is also important. We need to add the reference. So together with Alessio, we inserted lots of uh, references related to the last interglacial here, but you can also add uh, another uh, paper just by using this tab edit. In this case, I place Carboni et al. Quaternal International. So this is the reference. And these, uh, these three uh, spaces are related to uh, the ID of these samples. So this is the published ID that is very important. So in this case, uh, I'm going to insert the data related to this uh, uh, CLD2. Okay, is Capo San Marco East Moon Section D. So this is the published ID. CLD2. Okay, here sample ID and analysis ID. This is totally up to you. Uh, it's a way uh, to recognize the sample in your framework. For instance, for me, this is Sardinia. So, so it's SA is the site one from Sardinia. And the analysis ID, because this is the first sample I insert in uh, for this paper, for this site, it will be SA1001. Okay, so, but this is totally up to you. Uh, the only thing that is important uh, that uh, should be related with the original paper is the published ID. So uh, another important point, is this originally accepted by authors? In this case, yes. Is it accepted in other uh, studies? Yes, uh, it was uh, accepted uh, uh, in a previous uh, paper also, that is Andreuc. Et al. 2010. Okay, so uh, this is just uh, if you don't know, just uh, mm, put this uh, geographic metadata. Another important point. So the location is um, Sardinia, the site Sardinia, East Sardinia, sorry, West Sardinia. I made a mistake. Sorry. The site is San Giovanni del Sinis Capo San Marco. Okay, uh, if you want to add some um, additional information here, uh, the latitude and longitude, these are very important. In this case, uh, the, mm, these are the latitude 39.88 and the longitude is 8.43. Please remember to use the dot and not the comma uh, for the decimal degree. 
Uh, lat long are estimated? Yes, because I got the, um, this um, location from Google Earth um, um, information. The datum uh, of the elevation is the mean sea level. The elevation measurement method is a metered tape or a rod. If you don't know, if it's not specified, please remember that uh, you can add here not reported. In this case, it's a metered tape or rod. The reported elevation in this case is one meter above the mean sea level, and the uncertainty is 0 0.25. Uh, here I left blank because I don't have this uh, information. Uh, if you want to add some elevation comments here, you are able to do it. So let's go to the ecological metadata. So the terrace ID or the faces description. In this case, I don't have a terrace ID. And the faces description is a laminated beach deposit with corals and by valves not in situ okay so this is the description if you want you can add whatever you want is reported as in situ no interpreted in grow position no and the tax information is a cladocora cespitosa Okay, here you can add uh, whatever you want, the poly water depth estimates, the ecological metadata, I don't have time now to fill uh, this, it's just to show you, and the analytical details are um, important. Uh, here you can add some additional uh, uh, data if you have it. Um, is important the instrument, in this case is the TIMS. Okay, uh, I don't have all this information, but sometimes in some uh, papers um, is reported, um, there are lots of information that are also reported. I have this value, so the published value of uh, percentage of calcite, that is 7%. Then let's go to the other tab of, of the uh, analytical data. So this ratio, uh, you, you should add uh, the information about the ratio here. Uh, for instance, uh, in this paper, I have uh, not all this information, but some of this information. So here I place no. I have this information is 1.8 plus or minus 0 0.001. Then uh, I have uh, the thorium Mm, 232 um, concentration uh, it's 0 0.083 plus or minus 0 0.001 then I have also uh, the um, ratio between uh, 2, 3, 34 this one okay that is 1 dot 134, 0 0.009, okay. So these are all the data that uh, I, I have. And these are some other uh, information that I can add. For instance, I have this kind of uh, metadata, so 0 0.009. 7.04.0.01 and I have also the reported age that is 128 without a given uncertainty. So here I can add for instance the age certainty is not reported. Okay, so I have filled this um, um, with all the metadata I have. I can keep this uh, not available for the public if I want to work, uh, still work on, on this. And the only thing that I have to do is save.
So confirm the record insertion, OK. And that's it. And the new record is inserted successfully. And you can check this on your map. OK, so if you go to the U series that you inserted, OK, I inserted different U series in my um, for my part of the database, but this is the one that I just inserted. And that's it. So this was a, a short tutorial in order to show you how you can insert some dating information. You have the U series on mollusk and corals, you have the U series on the speleothem, uh, and you have all the different typologies of um, um, dating constraint that uh, can be related to the interglacial uh, faces. Bye bye.